Hey guys, welcome back. Just a quick video here on my progress. I spent uh, about an hour and a half this evening just looking at this tuning condenser, then uh, prepping it and doing some documentation here with photos that, you know, that I'm sharing. I want to get this thing removed from the chassis and you can see it's pretty bad shape. You can see here where some mice have been playing around on the chassis and that's spotted here by the remains plus the urine stains uh, there on the on the chassis. It's got all that rusted up as well. Uh, the tuning condenser and the hardware itself is pretty bad shape. You can see me here I'm documenting the uh, pilot lamps themselves, the connection, then the connection points underneath and I've got those marked. That neat little tuning belt that I mentioned that had the spring attached with the tuning belt. Not sure if that's by design or not, so we'll see. I do have that other 5S29 as well that we can compare to. Now the grommets that will have to be uh, replaced and I might take a different method and procedure on the grommets and uh, use a different uh, material instead of my old standard uh, pack of uh, standard grommets, so stay tuned for that if you're uh, interested. And uh, here you can see again I used the ties and kind of labeled the wires and did some uh, documentation just to make it simple and easy uh, when I start replacing these leads one by one, which I think in most cases will be required. You can see here I'm having to loosen uh, one fastener here from that coil. And then I'm just kind of shoring things up underneath the chassis and looking to see what... Uh, you know, fasteners will have to be removed to get this uh, tuning condenser out of the way. Okay, I think I'd mentioned there's only three fasteners that hold the uh, tuning condenser in, and here are these two that are up near this taper, which I believe it's the uh, tone control. Um, that taper's in my way, so I took time, just removed it, cut those leads going to it, have that documented for future reference. And uh, just, you know, taking all that loose here so I can get it. You can see the old, uh, you know, grommets, what's left of them, are uh, pretty well used up. So um, I'll replace those in, uh, with some new material. Here's the back of that dial. And you can see a little picture-in-picture -picture action here that I did as well. The, you know, the tuning condenser itself is pretty free, uh, considering it's full of dust and crud. But uh, I think after I get it cleaned up, we get it lubed well, it should uh, should perform nicely. Uh, just another look at some of the hardware that was removed uh, for reference. And uh, some additional pictures here. So you got this little uh, O-ring or piece of uh, wire that goes around, sits between the uh, the dial glass itself on the top side. And those little uh, support pieces. And there's cork on the back side, or what appears to be cork, between the, uh, the dial plate itself and the, uh, the glass. And I just took time, removed all that, got the pointers off here as you can see. And I uh, love that dial. That's gonna, I think it's going to be beautiful once it's lit up and uh, we start to see these beautiful colors come through you know, from the back to the front. Here I'm just removing the pieces of mica out of the tuning condenser for each section of that tuning condenser. I'll get them off to the side, you know, and get them uh, ready to be cleaned up at some point. And again, uh, the uh, tuning condenser itself, I'll be soaking that uh, probably in uh, Piclix 20 or Evaporust might use a little bit different technique uh, to try to, to uh, speed up the process. Uh, we'll see how that works out. If I go that route, I'll share it with you guys uh, so you can see if I'm uh, successful or if it helps at all. And uh, here's just a look at the, uh, the top side of the chassis now with that uh, tuning condenser removed. So you can see a little work here ahead of me to get this rust off. And I'll probably end up having to paint this uh, this chassis, would be my guess. And here I'm just stowing all my parts and pieces away in these individual baggies that I reuse. 
And uh, that's kind of it. That's where I'm at at this point in time. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching this uh, real quick video. Got the tuning condenser out. Got things documented, uh, you know, for the connection points. Some great uh, photos for a future reference. So I think we're uh, all set here to get into that next step and do some deep cleaning and some rust removal. Thanks again for watching.